Good morning, you guys. You may have noticed I'm wearing my same flannel as yesterday, and that's because my dryer is not working. I have a ton of laundry piling up. So a repairman's on the way because this, it's a beautiful LG washer and dryer. It is only like a year old, so it's totally under warranty and it should be good, but all that doesn't help if it's not working. Go work. Anyway, this sweet guy is like the repairman. We talked to him this morning and he's like already coming out today. So hopefully they're gonna get that fixed because it happened over the weekend and we couldn't call anybody on the weekend. So, I'm drowning my sorrows. I also know Ruby's gonna be like super intense when the guy gets here. She's not like, she's all bark, no bite really. She'll just be like, who is this? Why are they in my house? So you know what? Peanut butter, milk bone, never hurt anybody. Boys had a hard night. Um, we had kids throw up. We had kids crying. We had kids coming in and we played musical beds. The big one's feeling better. I like the blue <laughs> um, I'm not sick yet. Rich is not sick. I'm not even gonna say yet. We're not sick. I'm not gonna get this. I am vitamin C up and everything else, but um, I'm exhausted because again, musical beds with all different kinds of kids and I feel a little bit of a headache coming on, but we're not gonna complain. I mean, I just complained to you for the last five minutes. Now it's gonna be happy. You guys wanna know positive for today? It is cloudy. It's in the low 70s and it is very fall, very fall. And honestly, another very positive is very positive thing that happened is the kids aren't worse. Like nobody spiked a really high fever. Nobody's going to the doctors. Nobody needs antibiotics and anything like that. It's just been a while since we've had colds and it's because of the world we live in, right? Everybody's like freaked out to get a cold. Ruby, <gasps> Ruby, you want peanut butter bone? <gasps> peanut butter bone, bone bone, <gasps> bone bone. Am I the only one that doesn't like when a repair person comes to the house because I don't know who they are or anything. Oh my gosh, now he thinks I'm filming him. And I wasn't filming him, I was just filming, but I was like looking out the window. Here we go. All right, we are at soccer practice. Robbie actually got sick like Wednesday, and now here we are almost a week later. So Robbie's good to go with soccer. It's the other two that are um, not. So anyway, um, repairman came. He was so kind and so sweet. And I have to say, he was so nice about telling me what he thinks was wrong and everything. So apparently it is not the dryer. The dryer is good to go. It is something to do with the electrical outlet that the dryer is hooked in, up to into our laundry room. So we have an electrician coming out tomorrow and it should all be good. But I will say I did a clothesline, you guys, for today for Robbie's uniforms and clothes. And my clothes smell amazing. Like everything that I just took off the clothes line so fresh it's like that's probably why our grandmas did it I mean, they had to but it absolutely smelled just fresh and sunny and beautiful I know so many of you who watch my channel love decorating and making your home warm and cozy and parties and entertaining. And so I wanted to share some photos with you I have from a few years back. I was actually blogging at the time. I was not vlogging yet and I wasn't doing YouTube. So I just have photos, photographs and not actual video of this. But um, this is a little bit in honor of Queen Elizabeth and her recent passing. I have always loved British novels, British historical fiction, fiction, um, anything like that, especially all of the Downton Abbey movies and the Downton Abbey series. Um, I love the series, The Crown, so much of that I'm so interested in. So a few years back when Downton Abbey was at its peak, my mom and I decided to throw a Downton Abbey tea party for all of our friends. Now, when I tell you that my mom is an amazing decorator, you all would love it if she started a channel. I wish she would. She decorates so beautifully. She she loves, um, she used to love Victorian home decor, and now she's really into like a French Victorian or French, I guess you could say, themed decor. Just beautiful. So here are some of the photos that we took at our Downton Abbey tea party. Um, my mom made amazing little finger sandwiches, tea sandwiches, all sorts of beautiful um 
and wonderful tasting pastries and scones and all that sort of a thing. And we even made a funny little, um, you know, the two people in Downton Abbey that were the villains, I put their photo on the toilet. So when people use the bathroom there, they had to see them. And it was just lovely. And we had all different flavors of tea. And that's little Robbie when he was just a little guy and he was dressed up as one of um, the, I, everybody used to say he looked like Matthew from Downton Abbey when he was little and he still kind of resembles him. So um, we dressed him up. And so anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. I hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration to get together with all of your closest girlfriends and just have tea. Make time to put on that beautiful feminine dress and use your good china and, you know, make everything special and pretty because we only have life for such a short time. So we might as well enjoy it and learn to love the little things that make our life special and that romanticize our life. Do it all over again.